Hi, I'm James with Curse, and I'm here with Scott Youngblood, the lead designer of Firefall at Red 5 Studios. How does it feel to be here at PAX? It's awesome. We love PAX. You know, it enables us to have a direct connection with our community, and that's what Firefall is all about. Uh, so let's talk about Firefall, and let's talk about the patch that went live yesterday. Uh, can you just kind of bullet point the, the big things? I know it was, what, 23 pages of patch notes, so it yeah. was a lot, but uh, just give us a brief rundown of some of the, the big points that you hit. Well, our company motto is change everything, create fun. And this is the third time that we've done it. And, you know, some people like look at us like, oh, is, that, is that good for the game or is it bad for the game? And we think it's good. And the reason that we believe it's good is because we make these changes based on what our community is telling us they want from the game. We started off as a, a level-based game to where you could go up in levels, get rewards each time you leveled. But what we learned, what we listened to from our community is that the rate of reward got worse the higher level that you went. And Firefall is a game about gear. We want your gear to be important. We want you to go out and collect it. So we changed. We tried a technology tree with tiers. That also proved to be not exactly what we wanted. The downsides of that system were it was really fun to unlock tree, but it also meant that your choice was limited based on what the tree was letting you do. And so to change that, we wanted to improve the progression system to be more player driven. So now you have complete choice over how you choose to progress your character. Awesome. Uh, I know in the past there's been kind of an emphasis on competitive PvP, uh, but this patch is all about the PvE. Uh, what else can PvE players expect from this patch? Well, there's a buttload, and that's, that's <laughs> a technical term, buttload. There's a lot Super of new. Technical. There's a lot of new content in the game. That's one of the major uh, pieces of feedback we got from our community. Is like, oh, Firefall's great. There's not a lot to do. Well, now there's a lot more to do, and that stuff actually has very tangible impact on your own character progression now. So creature drops, events, all provide you things that you need in order to advance your characters. Cool. Let's talk about uh, how you change thumpers because I think that's a, that's one of my favorite aspects of the game. It's a very social platform. You guys really recognize that and iterated upon it. Um, so what did you do to Thumpers that just made it, in, in my opinion, an infinitely better experience than it was? So Thumpers, Thumpers should be social, right? And in our previous constructs, being able to have a person in your squad and then do a Thumper with them, you're splitting the rewards. That was kind of a negative experience and it really kind of pushed players apart from each other. If, if I wanted to do a Thumper with you, well, you're gonna take some of my reward. Um, in addition, the drive-by thumpers, right? Those were something that we felt was, you know, people would come up and help me buy thumpers all the time. I would invite them to my squad because I wanted to share the reward with them, but if they didn't accept, they got no reward. Now, thumpers are much more social oriented. So when you put a thumper down in the world, the thumper advertises itself on the world map. So you can press M, bring up the world map, and you'll see what thumpers are going on. In addition, you'll know what resource that particular thumper is getting, and you can go there and help the those people do their thumper with no impact on their progression rewards. So it's, it's awesome. Let's talk about some other stuff that wasn't necessarily showcased in the patch, but uh, vehicles, I got, well, I got press access to that awesome Locust Chopper, uh -huh. uh, and that is like my favorite thing. I just bomb around in that thing all the time. And I see other people, you know, they have motorcycles as well. Uh, are there any plans for additional vehicles as, as time progresses? Absolutely, right? And so we're just getting started in terms of the technology of Firefall. We've been focused all on player progression right now. And the LGV is part of the player progression, but we have this other thing called armies. And armies will have its own wealth of technology that is going to have a lot of vehicles associated with that as well. Are armies equivalent to guilds? Yeah, basically it's our version of a guild. Okay. And we, we intend to provide a lot of mechanics around the army that make Firefall more fun for people who want to play with their friends. Okay. Uh, and you teased a little bit, um, unofficially, army versus army combat in kind of an open world, the overworld setting. So it's no longer an instance thing that you queue up for, maybe you declare war with an army, and this is all still on the drawing board, but can you tell us a little bit about that? So the Firefall, progression in Firefall is all about technology, and in order to advance your technology, you need to get resources and experience. And we expect that armies will be doing those same types of activities are doing right now but on a larger scale and they'll be more specialized right so your army could be good at something where other armies will be good at something else right but together you can benefit now these benefits also come with limitations which you're limited by the amount of resources that you can collect so if you need more resources how do you get them you take them from another army cool all right the last question i have for you is uh 
the frequency of these patches, what can we expect? Is it going to be um, months at a time, maybe two months, or are we looking more like six months, these big content patches like you just did with the PVE thing? So we, we tend to organize ourselves around uh, major milestone releases, and then we do patches in between that. Uh, we, we're trying to, to release a patch every two weeks. Um, major milestones are, for us, around six weeks in order which is what we just did. I mean, we basically rebuilt the game, the progression system in the last six weeks. We, we worked and uh, we hope that you like it. So once, once all the systems are fleshed out, um, hopefully this is the one, right? Um, but once they're all fleshed out, is it gonna be just more focused upon content and delivering new content to players? Yeah, I mean, that's, so once you're playing the game, you understand the mechanics, well, the, the new fun is you want the new fun. And so we plan on updating Firefall continually and growing the game based on what players choose to do. And that's one of the very different things about Firefall is that player choice impacts the development of the game. Very cool. All right, how can players get in since it still is in closed beta? So if you're not in the beta already, go to www.firefallthegame.com and sign up for beta, and then that will get you into the queue in terms of being able to play the game. Also, check with the community. There are plenty of players out there who have invites. So they're just waiting to give them to somebody who needs it. Okay, Scott, thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for this quiet, dark interview environment. I like it. There's not a bass blaring at the back of my head, it's great. I'm James with Curse, and this has been a Firefall interview brought to you by Alienware.